wow. Just wow. What a crazy day yesterday was. I, uh, I wanted to make this video to really tell you my story and give you my honest thoughts on the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards. Uh, this video is also going to be split into little sections because there's just a lot I want to talk about and a lot that I really want to get off my mind. I'll have timestamps in the description if you're looking for anything specific or if you just want to skip to a part that might interest you. Uh, so without further ado, I guess I'll just jump straight into where I think it's most necessary, which is the beginning. So, I, uh, I joined Roblox on November 24th, 2011. It's almost been 10 whole years, an entire decade, since my journey began. My friends showed me this new game uh, online called Jaws, a game where you had to survive on a ship while uh, sharks tore it to bits. It was crazy, and I wanted to try it myself. It happened to be on Roblox, so I got Roblox. And eventually, I, uh, I made my account under the name of ToonLink76543, <laughs> and I played it. A lot of it. In fact, I was so fascinated by what others have made on the platform that I wanted to try my own hand at making games. At first, they were nothing but free models. <laughs> I made it, 100%. Like, I won't lie, they were, they were nightmares. They still haunt me. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, eventually, after making so, so many free model games, I began to want to make games with uh, very specific features. Features that I fortunately couldn't find on the toolbox. And so, because of this, I started watching script tutorials and dissecting some of those free models that I used to get a better understanding of how things worked. So, this brings me to 2017 when I got a better grasp at scripting on my own, and when I started working on a smaller game known as Containment Breach. Uh, it was an SCP game. I've realized that horror is the genre that I, I really enjoy working on most, and uh, so I developed a great passion for working on it. And it was a hit too, at least in my eyes. Between 100 and 200 players to me was just a dream. However, with popularity comes responsibility. I learned that the hard way while managing the game's community, and uh, it went straight to my head. I made really ridiculous decisions and downright bad decisions. I banned people I didn't like or disagreed with, and I talked behind people's backs, and I just wasn't really a good influence on others. And I, I soon realized that hurting others just hurt myself even more. It really put me in a bad mood after I, I put someone else in a bad mood, and that haunted me for a few years. I'll get to why I'm saying this later, but it's just it's something that I really need to address, and it's very important to this, this whole story. <laughs> so, uh, in early 2020, I started experimenting with games. Like, really experimenting. I was getting bored of updating the same game over and over and over because I felt like I had a lot more potential and creativity that needed to be expressed. And uh, frankly, the SCP genre of games didn't really do it for me. So I made a few different games, and most of them were test places. Among them was Piggy. So Piggy was a test place for pathfinding NPCs. In other words, a place to test with bots and also to mess around with friends. I see messages of people all the time saying, you know, it's a granny clone, and uh, I won't lie, when it first came out, um, it wasn't exactly meant to be a fully fleshed out game, but I decided to sponsor it for a day and see how it would go, and um, that day changed my life. I saw about 300 players playing Piggy that day, which was incredible to me, groundbreaking. Then came February 1st, the day out of nowhere, it reached 5,000 players for the first time. A few hours later, a prominent content creator on the platform, Flamingo, makes a video about it. Bam! 11,000. From there, it just kept going up, and my mind and heart could not keep up. They could not process what was going on. Uh, at the start, I was a quiet developer. I had been too scared to like really manage a community after my previous experiences. So, when I got tons of requests to make a Discord server, or even a Twitter account, I wasn't really keen on it. 
Um, some time went on and I reflected on my past. And I realized that this was honestly a perfect way to sort of forgive myself for the mistakes I've made in the past. This was my opportunity to like, to show that I've learned from my poor choices. And it's okay to make mistakes. I just, I just want to say that before moving on, because I've made terrible ones, but we all do. We're all human, nobody's perfect, and that fact that nobody's perfect itself is perfect. Uh, mistakes exist so that we can learn from them, and if you don't learn from your mistakes and make an effort to stop making the same ones, then you've made an error. You're probably going to end up making it again, defeating the whole purpose of a mistake. If you make a mistake, just reflect on it. Sometimes, not all consequences of a mistake can be fixed, but you need to make sure it doesn't happen again. I often think about why it was a mistake and how I can move on from it. What can I do to like prevent it from happening again in the future? I think you're really able to see this change in me and my personality if you go through my old tweets to today's. Uh, <laughs> I was harsh on some things, like defending my intellectual property. But once again, I realize now that that was a mistake, and I'd like to think that I learned from it. Every push that I made to keep things positive definitely had extraordinary outcomes for me. It, it just made me want to spread happiness and give others the same feelings that they gave me when they supported me. So before ending this little part of my video, I just want to take this moment to really apologize to anyone that I may have hurt in the past. I know this apology may not be much, but it truly comes from the deepest chambers of my heart. I mean it. I'm sorry. Well, um, I think it's time to get back into a better mood. So let's talk about Piggy. As I've said before, getting more than 100 concurrent players to me was just mind blowing. Like, I don't even know if I could describe to you how ecstatic I was when I saw it rise up to the front page. It just didn't feel real at all. And I'm not responsible for this. I wasn't the one who made Piggy into what it is today. The truth is, it was you. You. Me? No. You? Yes. You were there for me and the game when it had its lows and when it had its highs. You supported it and constantly gave me fresh motivation to work as hard as I could for you. And I, I just can't express how much you mean to me. In, in the whole entirety of 2020, I've come across so many supportive people, developers, designers, and creative players alike. Some of those uh, developers that I'd like to point out are the Adopt Me team, uh, the Royale High team, and the Jailbreak team. These people put their hearts and souls into their work, and they recognize that other developers do the same. They've been outstandingly supportive to me throughout this whole journey so far. And I know I really haven't mentioned each individual person and or team that supported me because there's just way too many. But if you're watching this video, then let it be known that you are one of them. So thank you. Uh, now for my actual thoughts on the Bloxy Awards. I'm sorry it took a little long to get to this part, but uh, everything I said before just really needed to be said. So let me say this. Every single nomination deserved an award. Why do you think they were nominated in the first place? To me, each nomination was an award. It was just incredible to see Piggy to get to such lengths and be nominated at least just once. I'm so happy for everyone who participated in this event and to see so many people come together as a community and to watch as a massive event unfolded was fantastic. I wish I could have recorded my reactions, but I was watching it online with my family all over North America. So uh, if you're really curious, then uh, here's a little reenactment. Exceeding a billion visits in just three months. Its developer has done a fantastic job constructing an immersive narrative that spurred a passionate following of millions of fans all over the world. This isn't just something people play. It's an experience they share, discuss, and bond over. No way. And so for these reasons, it's my honor to present the Builderman Award of Excellence. Gaming with Kev. Oh. I'm just messing with you. But seriously, my whole mind just broke down. I couldn't even think right for a few hours. I was so in shock. 
I half-mindedly put out a tweet saying I'd make this video and put barely any effort into the tweet because I, I couldn't. My brain just went on vacation elsewhere. So I, I, um, I guess it's my time to say thank you. I, I want to go through a little list of people I want to say thank you to. So first off, my family. My family has been super supportive throughout this crazy ride, always offering to help out whenever I felt down. And I couldn't be any more appreciative to have the one that I do. So thank you. Fat Mojo. They've made a distant dream of having my own merch come true, and they've stuck by me through so much. They're such awesome people, and I owe them my gratitude. All of the Roblox developers out there, countless of you have given me useful tips, great laughs, and big smiles. I love you guys, and keep creating such talented things, big or small. Your work is so breathtaking, and I mean it. I see it a lot on my feed, and it just makes me so happy to see. Thank you all to the content creators that have covered Piggy and or just joined me for the journey. Even if you don't play Piggy, seeing your support for me just melts my heart and I owe you, big time. The incredible Roblox staff team. To be completely honest, you're killing it with ensuring everyone's able to make the most of their time on Roblox. Please never stop innovating and being who you are. Your creative talents are just out of this world. The Piggy staff. The ones moderating the the, uh, the Discord server, you endure a lot, and I respect that. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing your best to keep it a safe and positive place for all. As for the developers, IKEA's Optic, Beastlick, and the helpers like Mira K, Melissa Medina, sorry if I butcher your names, <laughs> Tenuous Flea, Xperia, and Mischiefing, and, and many others, you are remarkable and extraordinary digital creators, partners, and friends. To the man, the myth, the legend himself, Builderman. If it weren't for you, none of us, I repeat, none of us would be here today. We owe it all to you. All the great memories we've shared, the friends we've made, the unforgettable smiles we've had on Roblox are because of you. I know I've said nobody's perfect, but you, my good sir, are on another level. <laughs> but honestly, we, we need more people like you in the world. You know what? You deserve the best vlogs you of all. That's right, Builderman. I present to you the greatest Bloxy of all, the CEO of the year award. <laughs> also, Builderman, please accept my friend. And of course, what would this video be without a proper thanks to the community, the people that have brought me here today? I want to let you know that it, it wasn't me that won these Bloxies. It wasn't me at all, actually. The true winners are you guys. You honestly deserve all the credit I could possibly give for this achievement. Each and every individual one of you has had such an immeasurable impact on my life and the lives of so many others, and you're the ones responsible for that. I know 2020 has been a rough year for many, but it's also been a brilliant year for others. For example, it's because of you guys that Roblox went public. I don't think it's a coincidence that after 2020 they decided to make this move as a company. You've done this for them. You've made so many people's lives better, including my own. So, thank you. You're such inspirational, captivating people to me. And that'll never change, whether you come or go. The brilliant impact on my life that you've made will forever be in my heart, no matter what happens. I love you guys. Take care. And here's a Bloxy Cola to another year. Cheers.